John Dickinson, often dubbed the penman of the revolution, was a prominent lawyer and politician in colonial America, known for his intellectual depth and political moderation. Born in Maryland and later rising to prominence in Pennsylvania, Dickinson's influence spanned beyond provincial borders, making him an essential voice in the colonial discourse leading up to the American Revolution. Among his crucial contributions to this dialogue was the letters from a farmer in Pennsylvania. Dickinson's main argument was that taxation without representation was not only unjust, but also destructive to liberty. As the mid to late 18th century progressed, colonial America found itself increasingly at odds with British legislative decisions. Key among these were the Stamp Act of 1765 and the Townshend Acts of 1767, both of which aimed to extract revenue from the colonies. Such acts, passed without direct colonial representation in Parliament, were met with fierce dissent. Within this cauldron of discontent, Dickinson penned his influential Letters. Published as a series of 14 letters, Dickinson's writings provided a comprehensive critique against the concept of parliamentary taxation without representation. Adopting the pseudonym A Farmer, he asserted that the colonies, while bound to obey British law, could not and should not be taxed without their consent, given their lack of elected representation in Parliament. He eloquently surmised, if taxes are laid upon us in any shape without our having a legal representation where they are laid, are we not reduced from the character of free subjects to the miserable state of tributary slaves? This potent analogy showcased the dangerous slope on which the colonies found themselves. By accepting taxation without representation, they risked not just economic hardship, but an erosion of their fundamental liberties. Dickinson's approach was marked by its moderate and logical tone, setting him apart from some of the more radical voices of his time. While he staunchly opposed the unjust practices of the British, particularly taxation without representation, Dickinson was also notably hesitant about the idea of complete colonial independence from Britain. Instead of inciting rebellion, he appealed to the colonists' deep respect for British law and constitution. His writings underscored a belief that the colonies could address their grievances and restore their rights within the framework of the British Empire. He contended that as Englishmen, colonists deserved rights and privileges, including the right not to be taxed unjustly, and hoped for reconciliation that preserved those rights while maintaining the colonial relationship with Britain. Letters from a farmer in Pennsylvania, though not a call to independence, played a pivotal role leading up to the revolution. First, it had a unifying message. Through these letters, Dickinson played an instrumental role in consolidating colonial opposition to the Townshend Acts. The widespread reprinting of the letters amplified their reach and influence. Second, there was the constitutional argument. Dickinson's emphasis on a constitutional viewpoint significantly shifted the colonial discourse, creating a foundation for future debates on colonial rights and British overreach. Third, they influenced colonial leaders. Dickinson's letters resonated deeply with leading figures such as Thomas Jefferson and John Adams, both of whom echoed its sentiments in their writings. Lastly, they paved the pathway to revolution. While Dickinson refrained from advocating outright rebellion, his letters insightfully spotlighted colonial grievances, thereby setting the stage for more radical actions in the ensuing years. John Dickinson's Letters from a Farmer in Pennsylvania served as a clarion call for colonial rights and a defense against the erosion of liberty. Through his articulate and reasoned arguments, Dickinson not only illuminated the unjust nature of taxation without representation, but also laid the intellectual groundwork for the events leading up to the American Revolution.